Tony Payne. Greenkeeper. Not like the sort you're thinking, like I look after grass, not the sort you're thinking. I, I, look, I look after golf courses and bowling greens. <laughs> Forty one pounds seven ounces. Um to be honest, I haven't used a pop up rig for years, but if I was to choose one, it'd probably be probably be a chod rig. <laughs> I'm not gonna say pop ups now. <laughs> pop ups. <laughs> no, no bottom baits. I've, 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 yeah, I I've much prefer bait, finding a clean spot and fishing baits on the deck if, if, I, if I can and fishing like match the hatch um, oh, in, in the summer if it's match the hatch, I might fish, fish single bright ones in the winter but yeah mainly bottom baits match the hatch definitely. Coffee. Um, well, right now I'm fishing tight because I'm fishing next to, right next to a snag, and if, if that if that rod goes, um, I think Tom's going to have to grab the camera out of my way pretty quick. But yeah, I, I, I prefer prefer to fish slack, like have line out of the way, inconspicuous. Um, I don't want to be getting getting liners and things. I, I like to yeah keep things well hidden on the deck, which is why I prefer using like fluorocarbon main line. So yeah, it's definitely mainly snack if I can. Broly, Broly, I, I, I couldn't be sitting in a in a big big palace of of a, of a bivy. Um, I love, I, I much prefer big wide panoramic view of the lake waking up in the morning and seeing everything instantly. I don't want to be behind zipped up doors and yeah, I much prefer a body. If I was in a bivy, I might as well be in, a, in, a, in my bedroom at home. I like to, like, like to watch out at my body. Feels like I'm out in, in, the, out in it a bit more. I get that. Yeah. Uh, I'll say I'm using fluoro now. There's, it's, it's tied between fluoro and mono. They've both got pros and cons, but in, in different different ways. I, I prefer fl fluoro for uh, accuracy and, and cut, cut, feeling the lead down, but um, mono for everything else, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I, I can't really answer that. <laughs> it's got a tie, 50-50, mono, fluoro. Wide gate, I just think it's a stronger hook. Kershank, it seems to be a weak point that if I if I want to um, if I'm some some if I'm fishing somewhere where there's catfish, I usually use a Kershank because they straighten out easier and then you end up losing the catfish. So, but um, yeah, most of the time wide gate. What are you talking about, boats or? <laughs> well, that's just what the question is. <laughs> um, well, I haven't got my own boat, but whatever's whatever's at the lake. I mean, there's a hard plastic one here. Um, I suppose, I suppose, hard plastic. <laughs> Definitely not Crocs. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm wearing boots today, but it's mainly because there's some boggy areas around around the lake. Um, but my feet are sweating like anything because it's hot. So trainers, even though uh, I would I would say I'd, I'd slip over more with trainers, but I was wearing these boots yesterday. Slipped over around around the back wall, landed landed on the backside, and got covered in goose muck. So yeah, so they didn't save the day with a heavy tread anyway. So yeah, for sake of out, yeah, train trainers, trainers. Stabilised mainly because I've only got a tiny freezer, and I prefer to keep my ice cream and frozen chips in there. And, and, <laughs> and um, I think with the crab, it might. I don't. Yeah, crab flavoured ice cream. I don't think it's the one. So uh, yeah, stabilizer's nice, nice and easy. I don't see the difference in, in the catch rate by using one or the other, so I might see choose stabilize, easy peasy. Oh, didn't say these questions would be say difficult. Um, I don't know, both. Um, I usually like to spread my rods out a bit, so single sticks, but then buzz bars are 
neat, easy and tidy. Like there's already set up for you, just put two sticks in, that's it. Um, I don't know, two rods on the buzz bars, one on single stick, there you go, you know, like a bit of both. <laughs> Nuts, definitely, definitely nuts. I think, I think tiger nuts are um, under, underrated. I, I don't really use seeds anymore. The only particle I use is uh, tiger nuts, really. Just like, yeah, it's not too much, but yeah, definitely caught, caught me a few, caught me a few fish tiger nuts. So definitely my favourite particle. The nuts. Pastels or fluoros. To me, they're kind of the same thing. <laughs> like, they're both bright baits. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, so, um, yeah, any any of them, either. My favourite hook bait. Oh, God, I'm struggling with this. Um, since using RG, I've probably caught most of my fish on, on Club Tropicana's. So, so far, Club Tropicana's, but I do like, I like the crab book baits, so we'll see. We'll, we'll see. But at the moment, Club Tropicana's in the lead. What's that got to do with fishing? This mass? I don't know. Do I, I've never actually used mass in fishing. Um, 49. I'll give you the answer, it's 7 foot. Is it? Yeah, 7, 7, 49. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> uh, boily. Boily. Um, uh, well, I, I use a bit of both, but I, I, I like using, using, using boily, a nice spread of boily. Um, fish meal, I've always felt Felt more, more confident in, in the summer using a nice, st stinky the better. Basically, if you're, yeah, the worse smelling it is, the more, more confident I feel. So yeah, which is why I like, like, like the crab. Stinks horrible, but anyone that's not a carp angler would hate it. But anyone that's a carp angler that would sniff it, would just think like, yeah, that, that's a, that's a, that's a catching bait. Uh, what shade of green? <laughs> yeah, I'll go with Olive then, yeah. At the time, Indian. The next morning, I probably wish I had Chinese. <laughs> mirrors. Def definitely mirrors. Well, if, if it's, um, if it, every common in a the lake is unique, then there's like, or well, any fish is like, but yeah, every mirror is different, so different mirrors. Nah, nah, might as well, it's just like fat looking in the mouth, isn't it? <laughs> nah, to be honest, I don't, I, I, I'm not really confident in using zigs, but um, I don't really fish any water as well. I, I assume they, they'd work, but uh, yeah, they do count, but not for me. <laughs> My favourite capture. Um, I don't know. There's so many like that. Are, that are, so, so many that I can think of. Probably my first 40 pounder, which is a fish called Crater out, out of Norfolk Park. It's just like the, the build up to it and, and everything. It just worked out perfect. It was. It was. Uh, um, not the video. I'd be long if I if I explain it all. But but basically, I was tracking this fish down and, and I ended up catching it the exact way I wanted to and it, it just it was perfect and it was just because it was my first 40 it made it even more special so yeah crater from Norfolk Park. Favourite water I've fished? Probably the one we're at now just because I've it feels like a second home to me it's just like I've, yeah, I've been here for so long it's kind of just feels like home so I have to I have to call it my favourite really. Um, there's so many. Uh, probably, I mean, I've never fished a lake, and I probably won't ever get a chance. But 
probably the number nine bus from Stone Acres. For me, that's got everything. Like, I like long, scaly, old fish. So yeah, number nine bus from Stone Acres. My biggest inspiration in angling. I don't know, there's probably a few inspirations. My um, my dad got me into fishing, but like growing up I always remember watching the old John Wilson go go fishing videos and uh, whenever I watch that I always remember one episode where he's tent fishing out of a punt and um, of course watching him do it, how, how, how enjoyable he's, well, he's, he's laugh, uh, I, can hear, I can always hear his laugh, but um, yeah watching John Wilson, Wilson videos that would, that would that would get me going and want me to get out fishing all the time. Uh, I think any extra you can add to it, you might as well, so boost it up, boats. Intimate pond by far. I don't, it, I, I feel like my comfort zone in a, in a, in a massive pit, but um, for me, fishing a small intimate pond where you can see everything that's going on and you can you can have the carp right in front of you. It's like, that's, that's exciting for me. Um, <laughs> she's gonna watch this, so I'll have to say weekend with the missus. <laughs> yeah, but even if she does watch it and you've said that, she knows what you mean. Well. well Half the weekend with the missus, you have half fishing. <laughs> Cop out. <laughs> uh, they're both good seasons. I, I, I think I prefer spring. I, I, even, even if I'm not catching, it's just a nice time to be out. Everything's waking up. The wildlife, I say the wildlife down here, is like the, with the geese, they're not very peaceful. but. Um, yeah, it's nice seeing everything wake up, everything, everything blossoming, even though it gives me terrible hay fever, but spring, yeah, definitely spring. What gives me my biggest buzz? Just, um, just the atmosphere of, of being, do, doing what I'm doing, what I want to do, and being beside, just being, I know it sounds a bit cheesy, just being out there is enough, but, it is not, and um, yeah. So that, I think that's my biggest bust, just being outside. I hate being cooped up inside. That's what that's what I live for, is being outside. Got got to sleep outside at least once a week. <laughs> I want to go insane. You're gonna make me sound like a grumpy old git now, lifting off a load of things that wind me up. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. Um, any anytime you see litter anywhere, it's it's always it's always a one. But I think everyone would like get annoyed when it's like when it's when you've got such a like, wild place and you see a plastic bag float past. Uh, bait boats, not a fan of bait boats. Not I know a lot of people use them and they're acceptable, but not for me. Not for me. It's all about the cast. I mean, I'm rubbish at casting, but it's all about the cast. <laughs> My next target fish, I should really have started going for it by now. I've said I always said that I wanted to catch the big linear from Norfolk Park. Before I joined, that was the one I wanted. Um, I planned to start there in, in, in the spring, but to be honest, I'm slacking a little bit, but yeah, I'm soon gonna, soon gonna get on it. I might wait until, until the season starts and then, then begin then. So yeah, the big linear. So hopefully that's, that's, the, that's the main one I'm gonna catch this year.